So now let's see how we can import uh, PSD and AI files inside of scenes in Character Animator. So in order to import the files, first of all, what you have to do is you have to go to file right over here on top and then click on import. So once you click on import, you go on to the drive where you have your AI or PSD file saved. So I'm just going to go around over here and grab in this tube AI right here. So let me just open this out, that is import that out and let's see what happens. So that file loads up right here, the tube uh, file is here. So this is imported as a puppet even if it is not a puppet right here. But anyways, what I can do is I can go around and bring it on to my scene right here. So I can simply go over here and drag in the puppet on to my scene. So I actually accidentally created a new scene. I'm just going to delete this out right over here. I'm going to open up the existing scene and bring that in right here, just like this. So what I can do is I can use the transform tool right here. So I can enable the transform tool and change it out, change the location of this particular layer. As you can see right here, I can change the position. I can change the scale. Uh, I can change the rotation and so forth, just like that from over here. So this is my Illustrator file. In order to bring the PSD file as well, that is a Photoshop file, the process is similar. You simply go to import and then go onto the folder. I'm just going to bring in this earth map right here and press import. So the earth map has been import. So simply drag it on over here on the layer just like this. And you can see that the earth map is here. So I got both the layers right here as you can see. So I can change around the anchor point right here and everything else to change around its position. I can change around its position. I can scale it out and so forth. And that is how you can import PSD and AI files and then uh, work with them over here. You can also drag in the layers. Like if you want the Twitter tube on the top, Earth map on the bottom, simply go around, drag in the layers and you can rearrange them as well. So whatever is at the top is the one which is seen at the top in the final scene as well. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.